Thank you very much. Now, at such a time, I don't know what exactly to talk about and what not to talk about because it's so much. As a matter of fact, uh, I was almost complaining to my producer that the, you know, the impunity is not shown to its maximum and he was explaining to me that we cannot just show violence, violence, violence. It's terrible what's up there, uh, what's happening. I'm just glad that this film is giving opportunity for the first time to show to the western world what exactly is happening in uganda for 36 years now general museveni has been very smart he has succeeded in painting a rosy picture to the world out there and to keep the oppression of the people of uganda covered up i hope this we can show it of course while I speak here, many of my friends are missing, many others are in prison, and many are underground, killed by the regime. So, uh, apart from the questions that you will ask me, and I'll be answering one by one, I don't know where to start and where to end. Ecco, allora, una delle domande è um, l'idea di essere eh, protagonista diciamo di una storia che poi è una storia eh, la storia di un uomo, è la storia di un musicista è la storia di un aspirante presidente ecco tutto questo la spaventava o l'ha percepita subito come un'opportunità eh, come dire che non si poteva trascurare um, for me it was neither a choice nor an opportunity I did not get into this because I was brave, no. I keep getting scared every now and then. There was no option, you know. Uh, while I know that it's dangerous to be doing this, there's one thing that is more dangerous, doing nothing at all. The danger now is focused on me and the people that dare to support the ideals that I represent. But there's a bigger danger for people out there that are voiceless, and uh, you know need somebody to speak out for them so i've been keeping away from politics for a long time and i was comfortable back home it's comfortable not to think the safest thing is to ignore the injustices that are ongoing unfortunately i come from the ghetto and uh, i knew that if i don't rise to the occasion to represent these people then nobody would especially in this time where all the intellectuals, all the professionals are feeling safer, not antagonizing the regime, carrying on their comfortable lives, and, you know, hoping that maybe a miracle will happen. I didn't believe in miracles, like I don't believe in them now, and I believe that we had to do something about it. Yeah. Well, my children have not watched the film, but they know that uh, the film will be out someday because they saw the cameras around us and they got used to them. I don't know what my children think, but what I have told them to understand is that everything is real. And uh, in the beginning, my wife tried to keep this violence, this oppression away from the children until my wife and I agreed that this is part of us. Mm -hmm. And the sooner the children understand the reality that we're dealing with, the better. Because in the past, my children thought it's only criminals that are taken to prison. But for the many times that their father has been taken to prison, I had to <coughs> be honest with them, for them to understand that, you know, this is the reality that we are dealing with. So yeah, my children know about it. My children had to grow up much earlier than their age because that's the reality they are facing. Mm -hmm. yeah. E cosa sta accadendo uh, in questi mesi nella sua vita? 
Well, what's happening in the recent months in my life and in the lives of many people is not very different from what has been happening. Um, I continue to be, you know, harassed by the government. I am an, I'm literally an illegal citizen in Uganda. Mm. Not legally, but practically. Mm -hmm. I cannot attend a public gathering without being, you know, followed. I cannot uh, be allowed on radio, TV stations. I, my music is banned. I cannot perform. But that is personal. That wouldn't be so much of a pain. But the abductions of the people that are around me and those that support me continues just this morning. Another friend was abducted and, uh, you know, is still missing. The, you know, um, extrajudicial killings continue, although now there's a big effort to guard the media. The local media does not talk about it. Uh, it is uh, social media that talks about it, which social media is also, uh, you know, gagged. Facebook is banned in Uganda it's by the president. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's every effort to silence not just me, but all voices of dissent in Uganda. The oppression continues, the violence continues, the state-sanctioned uh, abductions continue. The situation continues, mm -hmm. although there's less, much less um, attention uh, of international media to Uganda since the end of the election. Mm -hmm. But the government continues to do what it has been doing in the past.